They become swallowed and controlled by the total mentality of the communist government. This is like being inside of the tiger. Quarantine, just give me my six feet. That corona killing people is laying them six deep. Or is it radiation that's coming from 5G? It's got me popping vitamins and I'm hoping for high C. Ain't nothing sweet, I'm wide awake. I'm no sheep. Nah, I've been up for six days getting no sleep. My third eye open, shit is looking spooky here and scary But my faith is strong, so it's only got a fear They planted this virus and put it in our atmosphere They selling lies to our eyes, but my vision's Yo, yo, what's going on? How y'all doing, man? I got an interview with the beautiful, lovely Shelly Shell For his own Oprah You know what I mean? Stay tuned, 3 o'clock This time we make a stand They wanna kill us all United we stand Speaking of that, yo, what up, bro? How you doing? It's time we make a stand. Yo, man. I know y'all know what's going on, man. It's crazy out here. Like, yeah, Shelly Shell, bro. Matter of fact, yo, Ant, man. Thank you so much for uh, making that connection, too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I did that Big Brother thing for you. I did her show. And uh, that's how me and her linked up, man. So, definitely, man. Salute to you for that, bro. You know what I mean? Networking, bro. It's big, it's big. But what I was saying, man, I know y'all know what everything is going on with, like, you know, the cops, you know, wilding out and and, and 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 everything going on. Like, man, what do y'all feel about this, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know in Minnesota they was rioting. Like, it was crazy out there. I don't know if y'all saw that. It was, it was, it was, it was nuts, man. Like, I, I feel like we kind of back in the '60s right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't as bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not comparing. Because I don't, I don't know what it's like. Cause I wasn't there, but I, it, it's from pictures, man. It's, it's, it's like identical. It's crazy, it's scary, man. You know what I mean? Man, man, I should man. You killed this joke. You've been up against odds. You've been up against odds. She got me questioning why. I'm a question God Cause we've been up against the eyes Hey, they be up against the eyes Yeah, life is bitch, no, that bitch ain't do me right I've been up all night, try to get it out of spite Spoon feed them truth, but they fed up off the lies Nigga, fuck the mask, you been living in disguise Uh, quarantine and I'ma need my six feet With the shot of North Dean, now Philly, it gets deep Yeah, yeah for sure Yeah, we upset, man Like, I, I, I know about being a black man in America it, It's difficult, man, like we, 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 when, like when we go outside our home, we, we're automatically a threat. It, 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 it is right. And then it's like, you know what I mean? The, like, they, they're getting away with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they do something, they get away with it. And then it's just like, we got to sit there and just take, you know, just take the punishment. It, it, it's, it's, it's fucking, it's crazy, man. It, it's definitely crazy, though. But, let me see what I can bring to really quick. Five, uh, Being up against the odds. Fucking in wild. I'm gonna run that back though. Hold up. But yeah, Ant, you right, man. I think that's still Ant here. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. I, mean, like, I was watching the videos, man, of the riots. Over there, and, and the people they just look so angry, hurt, sad, and like I feel, I feel a like pain, man, because it's, it's nerve wracking, man. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely nerve wracking, bro. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Shelly, she's here. She's here, the queen. We bring her in. Like I said, this music right here, y'all listen to it. My brother Vu, it's called Riding the Tiger. You like me, yeah. Hello, Let me turn this down. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? All right, I'm good. I am good. I can't right. complain. Thank you so much for taking the time for uh, you know, sitting down you know, and talking with me. It's an honor. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a privilege. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Look, thanks for thinking about me. You know? <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So I was just, just telling people that, you know, I, you know, uh, Anthony from uh, helping the homeless, you know, he, um, you know, he made a connection for me to be, you know, able to be on your show, which was, which was amazing, by the way. 
Yes, he did. He sure did. Got to definitely shout out Anthony. We got to get him back on because, you know, he didn't make it that day. Right, right. For real, for real. That's how I get him back on because he, he has an excellent program over there as well. But, I mean, I just wanted to, uh, you know, introduce yourself. You know, I wanted you to introduce yourself to, you know, everybody that's watching. You know what I mean? So they know, you know, what I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, my name is Shelly Shell Williams, Philly's Oprah, executive producer of Urban Expressions music video show and single on a Saturday night. Been in the media business since 1990-something. <laughs> you're not gonna I'll, tell you, I'll tell you that Urban Express started in 1992, but I didn't start then. But right. it was 1990 something. Oh my god! Yeah, and it, it, it was crazy. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like I told you, I was uh, I was like going back to do my research and like really digging through and like you know, I was like, wait a minute, Urban. Oh, that's that shit. Oh wow! I was like mind blowing because I didn't I didn't put the two together. You know what I mean? Oh, that's that, crazy. that yeah. is who I am. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> right, right, right. So, how me? Well, you say you've been in the game for a long time. What inspired mm -hmm. you to, you know, to to to, to do media? Well, I mean, that's, that's that's a funny question. I really wasn't inspired to do media. It wasn't my choice. It wasn't 1990 something. My sister Monica, Monty on the scene. She was on the show. She was coming down to the show, and that's when it was a live show, mm -hmm. and anybody, you know, like the celebrities that come by. So it was a live show. And we lived far. So she was like, can you just take that ride with me? And I'm like, I don't feel like doing that. I right. do that. But then I started, you know, riding with her, going down every week. And I would just sit there like this, literally, just sit there watching the show like, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like why am I here? This mm -hmm. show. You know, I have my opinions of the show. We won't talk about it now because they changed. But right. I was just like, mm -hmm. Y'all need some help, and, you know. And then I was really into, I was really into God. Not that I'm not now, but I was really into going to church Sunday mornings, and that was taken from you. Tired, you yeah, know. Mm -hmm. The thing was at eleven o'clock at night, so you there from ten o'clock to basically two o'clock, and you want me to get up and go to church. So I felt it was going to pull from my, you know, where I was religiously. I was really head for it, but it's one night since it was live. It's one night a couple of people didn't show up. And it was live, so you had these shout outs. You taking these shout outs on the thing, so you got to have a, a relay system. So only one person was there, and he kept saying his name was Skull. He was like, Can you help? And I was like, No, I can't help. And then wow. he came back, and he was just going friend. He was like, Yo, could you really will you help? Can you help me? And I said, Nah, I can't help you. It's not my thing. Mm -hmm. And then for the third time, I literally I was like, That's not even God. Like, how, how do you turn somebody down what that needs help? Mm -hmm. So then I helped him out, and then from that point on, I was just like, this is how we going to do it. You know, right. this was, you know, your personality. I mean, I went to school for business, so then it's like, well, this is how we going to do it. This, this is what we going to do. This is how, how these systems are going to work. And and that's just really how it started. Once I was there, then it was, then it was, uh, I went from doing that intern into the administrative assistant to segment producer, associate producer, to executive producer, where now I am one of the owners of the show. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. And so that's like, just, like, work and dedication. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, go ahead. What'd you say? No, I was just saying that's just your work and dedication. Once you get there, then you become passionate. From some, at that moment, I wasn't, but all of a sudden it became, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> right, right, right. Because like, you, you fell in love with the process. Right, like, I love business. I I am a business person. Like I went to school for business, so business is what it was. So I saw the business, and yes, I love. I know everybody loves entertainment and stuff like that, but I saw business, and I saw how how this can work in a way that I, mm -hmm. as well as everyone else, mm -hmm. can make some money. Mm -hmm. It's cool being an intern, and it's cool paying your dues, but I like to make you know I like to make money, and mm -hmm. I want. Route that angle facts, facts. And, yeah, and, and, we're, not, we're not gonna come down here every week and week after week, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you know. <laughs> and that's but at that moment, I was literally <laughs> right, right, right. No, and I, I totally agree with that because you know, like that's that's like my thing. Like you know what I mean? Like I, I, I fell in love with business. Like you know what I mean? I like, mm -hmm. I like the, the the behind the scenes. You know the acts of it. You know I like I like going into boardroom meetings and you know I like meeting contracts. I like I like that that, that kind of stuff. So you know what I mean I totally understand that. 
Yeah, you know I mean? so and that's pretty much how it how it went down. It wasn't it wasn't like one of those things I set out to do. Mm -hmm. So so like, so once you started, you know, like you know, you got rolling on that show. You know what I mean? Like you know, I, now that you know you have you know your hands in a lot of things, and I mean I don't think a lot of people know that. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> right. No, no. right, right. You don't know that. I mean, like, how do you keep, you know, like, how do you juggle it? Like, because, I mean, again, I'm asking these questions, too, because I'm learning. Like, you're you're like an idol to me, you know what I mean? Like, again, like, now that I'm, I, I learned so much, and I, you know, I was on the set, I saw you work. You know, I'm like, wow, this is this is it. Well, um, well, you're talking about, it's a, it's a process. Like, you're talking about 1990-something to 2020. Mm -hmm. So you have to constantly reinvent yourself, reinvent what you're doing, ch change the wheel of it. So I had to continue to, you know, basically reinvent. And then it came, now it's at a point where I didn't just reinvent. I'm saying now I'm going to teach you. So now I'm a business coach and a media coach and a, social media coach. So now it comes down to the point that I get it and I want to teach people. Because back in the day, we didn't brag. We didn't, right. you know, now you can go, go on and say, I did this, I did that. Mm. Back in the day, I didn't tell people. All you did was see me work. Mm. All you did was see this the girl behind you making everything work. You, mm. you know, I'm a go to person. But you didn't realize that if we're at Foreman Mills, that I was the one who actually, not, not only am I, am I doing the you know, thing with Keith doing the face work and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm the person who went into the meeting, found the sponsor, gave him a plan, got it, you know, got it approved, and there we come out with eighteen thousand dollars. You didn't even you didn't even tell people that. You right. you didn't you said that kind of stuff. Like what you mean you got eighteen thousand dollars sponsorship? Right. You, you didn't tell people that before. I kept it all to myself because it was I don't know what it was. I know I guess it was back in the day you had the to protect yourself or what you thought. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have to protect myself. So I'm willing to tell people how it happened, what it happened, the systems. And really, you know, it, it's true. You can, you can see that we did it. You can look throughout the years and saw that Foreman Mills was our, like our number one sponsor. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. The process. I'm willing to tell people the process now, how it does, how it, what happened. And, and yeah, when you secure, when you young, I mean, I'm young, like I'm right. not even, I was a youngin right. secure money like that. Like, oh, did I? Then you be like, did you do that? Right. Did, I, did, I, did I really do that? <laughs> that is what happened, and that's where where my love came from. And every yes became, oh, I need another yes. Sir. I need another one. Yeah, you you said, oh, they said yes. I need another yes. I need. It I need. <laughs> yeah, I need a yes. I didn't like no's too much. I didn't like anybody to tell me no. <laughs> you know. So if you told me no, I'm coming back. Right. right. So, right. but I didn't get many. I didn't really get many of <laughs> Right. So I mean, is that a, now? Is that a secret? Is that is that a science? A science to a yes? I mean, I mean, you could be without giving too much away because I know you have a class for this. But I don't. I mean, I mean, so no, like, no, no. It's, I don't mind giving it. It's not. It's not. Some people can be over the top, but if you do it in a manner like my personality just says. Hey, I know it's good. You know how I'm doing it. So, but I wasn't over, over the top. Mm -hmm. So you just follow up and you follow up again. You might even show up, you know, <laughs> you know, here and there showing right. up. Like I can tell the story of City Blue. You know, remember City Blue? Yeah, 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 yeah. So City Blue was a, somebody I wanted. I wanted them. I wanted them for a while. And I was just like, how can I get there? I didn't know. I didn't, at the time, I didn't know the owner. So I would go to the store, sing, hang around, mm -hmm. get to know the people. Hey, 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 girl, hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> hey. And right. then throughout it, you find out the owner's name, right? Mm -hmm. So now I know the owner's name. Boom. That's all I needed. Then I'm calling. Now I'm like, I only got to come down. Hey, may I speak to blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And then you, you chase them for a minute. Jason, oh, he's not here. Oh, he's not available. He's not here. And so that one day, that one day, if you're consistent and persistent, and I'm not talking about annoying. It wasn't annoying. Right, right, I would, right. I would like, you know, make a week go by, maybe two weeks go by. And, you know, I'm forgetful, so maybe, you know, three weeks go by, but it's on my call log. I got a right. sheet. I got a call log. I know, I know what I got to do. So call him again until that one day you get that call. I mean, you get, get him to say, hey, he's here. I'm like, what? 
And then, and then there's your the TV, yo. What's up? What's up with this your girl, Shelly Shell with the world on the street? Blah blah blah. blah. You got that girl, right? Mm -hmm. Then you got hey, what's up? I'm, you know, now what's up? Hi, I'm Shelly Williams from Urban Expressions, executive producer. I am calling to the then you put your voice on mm -hmm. and you put your phone on and, and then you say, Listen, may I have a meeting with you? You get your meeting and you close your deal. Cause why? Not saying to this, but when you meet me, there's no reason that you're gonna say no, because no. I'm gonna take all the benefits of working with Urban Expression. So Close that deal. I mean, collectively close that deal. So um, he said yes, and then we ended up doing our shows um, at City Blue. With a, there was a City Blue, Lady Blue, and when he was watched it, the crazy, funny thing was he was coming to watch to watch what we're doing, mm -hmm. and he was he almost like his head was like, "Are you the wow. same person?" Because I get on the phone, you know, get on the microphone, and I'm turning it to Miss mm -hmm. Hip Hop too, right. and he's like. This is not the same person that I. <laughs> right. <you know? laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're a person with many hats, like, and that's what you gotta be, right? Yeah, it's not, but but you know what? When I get a microphone, it's not like I planned it. I never planned to put a microphone in my hand to be like that. I never even planned to put a microphone in my hand. Wasn't my intention. But when I put the microphone on my hand, it just this is who came out. It's right. almost like Sasha Fierce, Beyonce, and her Sasha Fierce. It's almost like Shelly. And Shelly Shell and Shelly Shell became that person. It's I didn't plan it. It just mm -hmm. when the microphone was there, it's like a whole it's different right. thing to take over. Right, right. I can understand that. I can understand that. That's yeah. a, that's that's, that's, that's cause like that was my next question. So like you know where did Shelly Shell come from? But you know that's the, so you got to answer that question right there. I mean that. I mean that's where. We, you know, we all have to, you don't have to have a stage name, but mm -hmm. you have to have a something. So we're all, you know, Keith is Keith from up the block. We're coming up with his name. We're coming up with Monty on the scene. Mm -hmm. Because Word on the Street is how my introduction into TV. So as the administrative assistant, they gave me the next role, which was segment producer. Here, you produce the Word on the Street. The Word on the Street was your industry news, your gossip, whatever that is. And I was supposed to write it, produce it, and all this. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. He said he wanted one person. Mm -hmm. You know, he wanted to make it one person. And I said, mm-hmm, sure. <laughs> I didn't do that. I wanted everybody to have a shot on television. Mm -hmm. that, you don't just give person. You know what I mean? We're working here every time, and I wanted to give everybody a shot. So I uh, keep them up the block, go, money on the scene, me, word on the street, the beginning part. So I'm putting there, you know, giving their information. So I got to collect the information, get it together. And then we, we need to come up with our names. Whose name is going to be what? Everybody came up with the name. And Shelly Shell was something, just some random person, random people every now and then. Like, Shelly Shell. Oh, it, was it, was, it was so random. It was like, I'm like, why do people keep doing this? I mean, so randomly, it sounded good. Shelly Shell. And I kept it because if you Google Shelly, Shelly Williams, a hundred million people come up. Mm, right, you, right, you, right. You Google Shelly Shell Williams, I'm coming up. Yeah, right. And that's, a, and that's a branding technique. Once once you go into reinvention, once you get into the new platforms, you have to make sure you're showing up. And I'm Googleable and Shelly Shell Williams is Googleable. Shelly Williams, bunch of them. But Shelly Shell Williams, it's me. That's yeah. me. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's only one. <laughs> it's only one, right? It's only one. No, but again, and I, I mean, I'm reading the comments down here. You know, they say that they love your energy. And again, guys, like her energy is, this is not a fraud. It's not a fake. This is real. You know, like, when I met her, she was the same way. First time meeting her, I feel like I've known her forever. <laughs> that, that, yeah, because you said you know me. I feel like that. Hey, everybody, you know me. What's going on? Right, right, right. So where can people catch your show? Single on a Saturday night comes on tonight, every Wednesday, 10.30 p.m., Comcast 66 slash 966, Files 29 slash 30, or if you're all around the world, it's phillycam.org slash watch, and you can watch that from your computer. And, of course, YouTube, Single on a Saturday night is on YouTube. And uh, we're on Roku, Apple TV, um, that's Who Mag Multimedia or Who Mag TV. Looks and listen. We have content everywhere. Yes. The, goal, the goal is, if you are a content creator, the goal is to manipulate and make sure you have cover. Don't just cover one platform. You cover everything. You make sure you show it up. That's mm -hmm. why I call myself the show up coach. 
So make sure you showing up to wherever it is. So now we have a podcast. So not only are we uh not only are we on these platforms, we're also on podcast platforms. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's so, the so like you were like I was huh? What'd you say? No, I'm just saying. So single on a Saturday night is out there. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And it's you know, it's a great show, by the way. Like if you guys like I was just watching it before I jumped on live. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, I was watching the one that said, Why do men cheat? So I was watching that one. Oh. Yeah, that was a good show. Why do men cheat? Uh, Why? We're not, yeah. we not gonna just, do it. <laughs> I could get started, but I won't. <laughs> we're, not, we're not gonna do that here. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but again, like, the, I mean, the last time I was on, I mean, I was on your show. We were talking about, you know, the Big Brother program that you know Anthony mm -hmm. has going on, and you know, just things that of that nature in the city. Um, I know that you know you have a lot of things that you know you do for the city as well. Do you want to speak on that, like your charitable events and stuff like that? Oh yeah. Well, um, back in 1998, I started a nonprofit, Expressions Inc., to address to answer the every question I got, literally. Every school, because, you know, we did school tours. We did a lot of things in high school back then. And every question I got was, how do you get on TV? How do you do it? How, how, how? So I created Expressions, Inc., a um, nonprofit, which was to teach people, teach, uh, for youth and adults, how to get on TV, what to do, give them a platform. And it was a training for um, for youth. And now uh, we're in Urban Expressions, the next generation. And I created the next generation because, each person, except for me, had kids on, on Urban Expression. They all, they got kids. Mm -hmm. So I decided I want to see the next generation. Right. I love the next generation. I want to I want to be involved in the next generation. So now we have Urban Expression, the next generation, where it's a TV show. We do fashion shows. Uh, we do events, community events. The last one we did was um, paint night for kids. Mm -hmm. It's totally free, and you know that costs a little paint night costs a lot of money. Uh -huh. So totally free, parents and kids playing playing together, doing paint night and games. So they got to play games and paint. Mm -hmm. It was so fun, and I know I'm a grown up, but it was so fun. Mm -hmm. I love to see the kids having so much fun, and because of COVID, we can't do it right now. But we we had a good time. The kids had a good time, and some of the people from. The uh, fashion show. So we did a fashion show in August. Okay. And some of the kids from the fashion show came out to the uh, paint night. So the goal was just to really be a part of the next generation because let me tell you, the kids that the people that was on Urban Expressions, these kids are amazing. You know, I don't have any. Right, right. I love the kids. <laughs> Shelly Shell love the kids. <laughs> I do, I do. Especially because they're not mine and I don't have to take them home or nothing. <laughs> That's the best I don't have to part. take care of them. <laughs> That's the best part. You give them back, right? <laughs> I do. I give them back. I ain't got to take care of them. Near kids. No. I don't believe you. Well, I got a lot of kids, though. So. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, we talked about, about huh? that on, you know, on your show. You did, you did, yeah. Yeah, told you I'm not sure. I got seven. You go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you go ahead. You go ahead. So if you want to do something with your kids and we do the next generation, we could do it because oh, for sure. I think I believe in people having kids so I can work with them. You know, I'll right. teach them. Right. But I don't want to tell them. Yeah, know? yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. No, but yeah, like, you know, we definitely need to do something for the kids. And Anthony, yeah. he just he put up the cross and fingers. He wants you to come out with us next time we go out. To help the homeless. Look, yeah, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, help the homeless. Yeah. Are, you, are you still doing it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just out there passing. Well, uh, I took donations and I went out and passed out um, the masks. I had a friend make the masks and we went out and passed out masks to the homeless. And then Anthony just gave me some. Um, Anthony and his, um, his I, I, forgive me, I don't remember the other, other organization's name, but they, uh, they put together like these lovely uh, little like cups. Like care packages, <laughs> and they had, you know, like crackers inside and different things inside of, the, of you know the care packages with like a personal message on it. So you know, I'm gonna go out and pass those out. I was supposed to do that yesterday. Forgive me, Anthony, but I'll go out. <laughs> I'll go out today or tomorrow, and I'll go pass those. So out. you put the mask on and you go out there in the community. The mask, the gloves. I'm not gonna be here lie to you when when it came, COVID came, and I know it's about being in the community, but I'm not in fear. But I really took. The whole staying in quarantine seriously. Yeah. I mean, I took it so seriously. My car wasn't started. I, uh, my battery died. 
Because I wasn't starting my car. I wasn't like, I ain't going to go. Listen, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Like I told, you know, my wife, she's saying, wait, I'm not going outside. I, I don't blame you, you know what I mean, at all. But, you know, you know me, I'm, I'm a risk taker. I'll go out there. <laughs> I mean, look, there's a lot of risk takers out there, and I get it, and I totally get it. Mm -hmm. But I was really serious about it because, you know, it, they say with people with underlying issues. Not that I have any underlying issue, but that would be the day you find out. Absolutely. No, you're right. You're no, right. and I don't, I don't want to find yes. out that way. And if they say stay home, I just stay home. Stay home. I, I do my thing. You right. know, no, I know we're about to open up. So I did get my, you know, my car is being fixed right now. I'm getting my battery because I believe that we're opening up. I believe that even, even if it's not safe, they're going to open up regardless. So, and I, and I believe that wholeheartedly that we don't know what's about to happen, but they're going to open up and people are going to have to go out there in the world. And so I have to get ready for it. Yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, to be honest with you, like, if you think about it, the big, big businesses, they lost so much money. Well, but in small businesses as well. well but, you saying, what you mean? Yeah. You know, but, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be like that now with, with what I learned is it doesn't have to be like that as for a small business. You put some systems in place, you you know, then if this ever happened again, I think you learned that oh, yeah. I won't be in this situation again. Oh, yeah. My goal is to not be in this situation again, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, speaking about that, how did you adjust? Because, you know, you can't do your show, like, you know, how you normally do it. So how did you adjust, you know, with, with all this going on? Well, Zoom, 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 Zoom. <laughs> we have like, Zoom shows mm -hmm. every week, right? Right. So, in that regard, no, it picked up. We did, we did interviews with you know celebrities, through those celebrities, Mich Michelle Lay, Cindy Williams, Bobo. So we're being, we're doing Zoom interviews. We're doing right. Zoom shows. We did, we did a Zoom party. We 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 just took the Zoom and we're creating. That's how, that's how the podcast came about. Mm -hmm. So I can't put it on air necessarily. I you know I could ask the station, but I can't put it on air. But I have another platform, which is a podcast, right. and so it goes to a five. So that's how we adjusted to it. Now, for our sponsors and things like that, I didn't adjust that to that. You know, there's no sponsors necessarily for it, but you know, yeah, that's and a good, that's a good Fridays, Fridays can't do anything on Fridays. So. You know. Right, that's another thing. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, Fridays is it, not only are you know, of course, we do the show there. They're also my client. So right. I'm actually, I'm actually the um, marketing manager for Fridays. But once again, I didn't tell people. That's one of those things I keep to myself. That you know, I just just keep it under wraps. You know, I don't want to ever ever feel like I'm bragging about anything. But the purpose now is. In case you want to know my resume, and just in case you want to know, if you want to hire me as a coach, understand that this this is what I'm doing. This is what you do. Uh, this is what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. Dealing with patients, dealing with clients, different. This is what I've been doing right. for the last however many years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. You can't give that away. But no, but let, I mean, again, I just want to say you are truly, truly a, a queen. Like I said, I I, I did my research. <laughs> You know, I've met you. I'm like, yo, this. I'm like, this is this blowing my mind because it's right here in Philadelphia. And I didn't know. You know what I mean? I, so I felt, I felt bad, but I wanted to tell you as I did my research. You know, I want to give you my flower. You know, we'll give you your flowers now like, because I did my research and I'm like, wow. Well, thank geez. you for doing the research. I hope, I hope things came out lovely. I don't know. Yeah, oh thank yeah, for sure, for sure. That's why I'm like, that's that's that's, that's what I'm giving you flowers. And I'm saying it because I want everybody that's watching to go do their research as well. Like, you know what I mean? Because Again, we need to. I think Philly is so talented, and, and and we're overlooked sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, we get our little sprinkles here and there, but we have a lot of talented people in Philadelphia, and and we just don't get the. You know, we do, we're not a mecca like how New York or or LA. Is. But you know, I like to change my language with that. I we are a mecca, and if I continue to create platforms and you create continue to make platforms that highlight our people in Philadelphia, then we are the Mecca. Right. Single on Saturday night, I put people on that they have stuff. We're in Philly. You want to get to know Anthony? Here he is. You want to get to know Mar? Here he is. You want to get to know? We are the Mecca. We have the talent. Like we that. have people 
doing some wonderful things. So change the language. The language is we are the Mecca. And this is where place to be. And we got it right here. So let's keep doing what we do. I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm going to carry that too. Thank you. Thank, thank you for that. I'm going to carry that. I like that. Like yes. That. So, I mean, is there anything else you want to shout out before I let you, I let you go? I don't want to keep you too long. You know, I could talk forever now. <laughs> I, I know. It's cool with me, though. But I didn't want to talk too long. <laughs> Don't think you got to stop with my regard. I, I can say, you can ask me another question and I could keep going. Because this, I mean, you're talking about over 20 years of information. Oh, it's I 20, know. Over I know. 20 years of, of, of people I've met, celebrities I've interviewed, uh, and some stuff. It's some crazy stuff. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many stories. But, um, Anything, uh, definitely follow and support Single on a Saturday Night. Follow me on Instagram at Shelly Shell Williams. And I have a podcast class coming up. Noon mm -hmm. 1st, you can go to Eventbrite Podcast Training on Eventbrite. You can go to the link in my bio, sign up. It is money. It costs money. Yeah. I'm teaching you how to do a podcast along with DJ Kid Disco, who's been helping me with the Zoom. He's my technical person. He's my partner in this. And he's been doing the Zoom. Before before COVID, right? Before he understood beforehand how to do this whole uh, podcast thing, how to do this whole Zoom thing. So now he's teaching me. I'm teaching the marketing end, but um, that is on June first at twelve noon. And don't wait till the world opens up. We're trying to give you this information right now mm. because to me, Zoom is a good place to do interviews. Right. You feel like when you interviewing, like, oh, how can you reach out and touch the celebrities? But with Zoom, you can reach out and touch a celebrity because where are they doing? They're right home. They're home. Mm. They're home. You know what right. I mean? Right. So Absolutely. you use Zoom as a platform. So uh, June 1st, 12 noon, link in the bio, uh, sign up through um, Eventbrite. And I'm also offering a discount on uh, – a discount if you do Cash App. Cash App is over and it's thirty dollars. If you do Eventbrite, it's thirty-seven. So that's that's what I have coming up. And then of course my coaching program is coming up. I, I I've been I've been teasing people a little bit. Putting it out there a little bit. But um, if you're interested in coaching, social mm -hmm. media coaching, media coaching. If you are interested, I have plenty of students. Um, I've been secretly doing this and you can ask them i have i am their mentor I have plenty of students that, but i kept it under the radar because whoa it's a lot you know what i mean yes. it's a lot you're pouring into so it's almost like uh you're preaching to people you always pouring into them. so i was keeping it on the wraps but mm -hmm. i no longer want to depend on a corporation for my you know for my money yes i want it i want right. that money but until that moment comes, I need to make my own, you know, make my own way, open it up to everybody in a way that it helps everyone. Absolutely, absolutely. I, yeah, and I love that, you know what I mean? Again, and to me, I look at that as an investment, you know what I mean? So, I mean, anybody that's watching, that's an investment. Like, spend that $37, $30 cash app, and, you know, you'll change your whole, your whole, you know, your whole podcast game, because I'm definitely going to be in that class. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm going to be there. I mean... People will say, oh, yeah, I've been doing this TV thing, I've been doing this media thing, but there's so many, so many other things and how you market it. And it's just basically getting a systematic format to what you're doing. Right, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, real quick before well, I got you on here, and I remember, let me shout out my, my sponsor, people say some of my sponsors, uh, Deja Vu, uh, yeah, Body Splash. This is for men. Ooh. Yeah, but they have a line for everybody in the family. Like I'm literally women, kids, everybody in family. This is the body spray. I have, have incense, candles. You know they have it all. Soaps. You know they yeah they get busy. <laughs> so I just take that time and shout out my sponsor real quick. You know we. we absolutely. Shout out to Deja Vu. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. You know absolutely. What I want to sing the song, right? Huh? Call it. You know I wanted to sing the song. Call it Deja Vu. <laughs> right there you go. <laughs> look, look, they're on live too. There you go. <laughs> That was big, Cheryl. I appreciate you for doing that. You're right. <laughs> you I, that. The difference is I understand the sponsorship game. I understand what it is. I understand that you need sponsors to make it. And and that's one of the things you could do. And that's in, in, in the media coaching program, I teach you how to really go out and get the sponsors what it takes and right. not just and not just wait for them to come. Really go after them. Too. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. My sponsor, which is um, Super Day, Super Day Realty Group. If you were looking for a house, check hmm. out Super Day, the Super Day Realty Group. He does his thing. He's been he's um, sponsoring the show. He when we were live, he was right there. But right now, you know. Right. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Shout out to Super Dave, man. Appreciate you. Again, Queen, I want to thank you so much for just taking a moment to, you know, sit down and talk to me. I will be in the class. And again, we will definitely do another interview if you know, if you're up to it. I'm a, oh my gosh. You <laughs> I gotta, listen, I gotta make sure I, you know. <laughs> Listen, you took you too long to ask me on this thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. It is the perfect time. It is the perfect time to ask, not just because of COVID, but just because of where I am in life right this second. It's the perfect time. So I appreciate you. I do. I appreciate anybody who's sharing their platform. And people need to realize that when you're being interviewed on somebody's platform, they don't have to do it. Oh, it's nice. the platform. And I have shared, I just told people who feel entitled. Sorry. That's okay. There's so, so many people who feel entitled. Well, why am I not? Why did you not write about me? Or why did why am I not on it? You're not entitled to it. Right. People have relationships. Yes. And then I decide who I want to bring on. We build the relationships. I'm not here to, we're not, what's in it for me? I'm in here to build relationships. Not because, because you're doing something hot and fly. I don't have to. You right. So you have to, I appreciate you. Uh, bringing me on and interviewing me, just like you appreciate. So we're sharing our platforms, and that's what we do for each other because we 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 build a relationship. We ain't just say yo yo yo. Building here, we're building. Mm -hmm. You know, I share what you do, you share what I, that's how you do. You're building. Mm -hmm. Every right. show is a building. It's not I'm supposed to. No, you're not supposed to do nothing but say however you are and you know, die. They <laughs> <laughs> say black and die. Go ahead, you say. <laughs> Everybody's black, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you right. you say whoever you are. <laughs> there, there you go. See, look, yeah, look, you training me already. Who I see look, you projecting and speaking to the masses. I gotta say how yeah, who yeah, whoever you yeah, are. Because the goal is the, the goal is to be masses. The goal is not to be, hey, we're not here in Philly. This this interview may be taking place with two people from Philly, but it's national because we're talking about national topics. We're talking about a national thing. How does someone make it to success? Whether she made it to success in Philadelphia doesn't matter, but she still did it. She still interviewed Will Smith, um, who else? I can't Speak even think of it. Mills. Speak on it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Speak on it. I, whoever else, you know, Megan Good, Steve Harvey, mm -hmm. Kevin Hart, um, I could go on. Right. But that does whether whether I'm in Philly or whether I'm in Atlanta, no matter where I am, it's still the same story. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And we, the goal is to, to be worldwide. We want the worldwide. We on the internet. We right here. Even though this is Instagram, this is all over the world. It can yes. be the world. So. Right. Thanks. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you speak truth. Again, I want to thank you again, y'all. Check out Shelly Shell. She's the Philly, uh, she's the Philly Oprah, but I'm going to say the Philly Queen. You know what I mean? You're the Philly Queen. I'm going to say that. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yo, definitely check her out, y'all. Again, I appreciate you, Queen. Thank you so All right. Much. Thank you so much. I don't know how to leave, but I guess you can just make it. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> Have a good one. All right. You too. All right. All right, y'all, I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. Again, that was another um, interview with myself and uh, Two Side Podcast, Instagram Live, man. I can't wait to get back and actually sit down and do an interview with somebody. Um, but until then, I'll be here on this channel right here. Check me out. Peace.